because I want to get into some other stuff, but like, uh, I don't watch Fresh and Fit oh, very much dude, or No Jumper sense. very much. But are you and Adam like? Are you guys? Cool? Oh, we're cool now, but because I he I just watched the Freak Out. Want to hear something like, wild? A year ago, oh. don't quote me. And I was like, it seems like they don't like each other. So when I, I looked know. up the interview with you and Violet Myers to show him like research for yeah. Bear, it's not there now. Unless it's like gone? I don't I don't see it. I don't know. So no, it's been up for years. It went viral on Emporium. Somebody made when a When I was trying to look, it, I couldn't like find millions. it. Maybe I'm it wrong. It got like 7 million views on Facebook. Yeah, maybe I'm wrong. I couldn't find no, it. No, it's a... Uh, it, there's no way he would have took it down. That shit went stupid fucking viral. She it's, said some wild shit, though, because I brought yeah, it up to her at Exotica, she and she didn't yeah, seem like she liked like it. Eating shit or something. She said oh some crazy God. shit, and it went viral for us, but it, it was just... We knew what the fuck we were doing. Like, the reason why me and Adam got to it is because I knew what I was doing. I knew Adam had a platform, and I knew I could take advantage of it. So Simple as that. Like, and many people are, oh, you, you were mid. You look stupid on the interview. Guess what, motherfucker? You know who I am because I did that. You know what I mean? Okay, like, it's it's like, a, it's on his page. Yeah. It's not on No Jumper though. It's on M twenty two. Oh, it's on Adam twenty two. Yeah. So anybody's gonna if you can get on that show, you're gonna go on that show. Yo, and do he, whatever. his TikTok now. If you go on No Jumper TikTok. That argument between me and Adam has more fucking views than any fucking thing between Logan Paul, Selena Powell. Oh, wow. More view, 14 million views. More views than anything else. That's wild. Like, <laughs> I knew what I was doing. I knew it would go viral, so I did that. I mean, yeah, my argument might have been a little bit overdrawn or irrelevant, but so fucking what? But like, did you do his podcast with his what with his girl? No, he, you, uh, he means the, he means the sex podcast where they have like, sex oh, where they have sex on the cut. Yeah. No, I never did that, but we did have sex. Oh, it's on his Patreon. Oh, so you're cool. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, That's probably I, as cool Why as not get on the episode? Why not do the podcast too? I don't have to... No, yeah, no. We, I fucked him and his girlfriend. She's super cool. Like, yeah, she's, dope. she's, she's super nice. sweet. You know, yeah. me and her chatted up a bit and cut it up. Yeah, she's dope. She's cool. Yeah. So you guys are cool now? Yeah, no, we're chill. We were cool to begin with. Yo, like even the second roundabout, we were talking mad shit going back and forth on social media. So was there any... It was uh, all played out. He was going hard a little bit on the fresh and fit. He was! Yo, right? no, he was so it mad. Was like, oh he was so That's why I was like, wait, mad. is this an acting job Nobody's or is this real anger? Him. Nobody's seen him that mad before, yo. Like, <laughs> he was yeah, he was so mad. I don't watch him regularly, so I was like, maybe he actually <laughs> hates her or if well, this is so like played was, up for the The crazy the part is, is before I even got to the podcast, so him, AB, and Myron and Fresh um, did a- like AKA a, Walter. They, 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 Walter. <laughs> they, did, uh, they did like a little uh, pre-interview or whatever before all the girls came on, and I hopped on. I was like, fuck, I'm going to talk shit. I'm going to just say all this shit. <laughs> <laughs> just to like That's stir up, yeah, I stir your shit soul. up. I was like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna stir shit up." They have like, I, they have like twelve girls on at once. It's insane. Yeah, and I told them I was oh, like, wow. honestly, I don't like that many girls on the podcast, but it got pretty fucking heated that night. That's a pretty iconic uh, interview. Uh, yeah, I just watched. I watched yours, and then I watched. I was getting them because they were obviously went big in the last couple of weeks for the whole you know race thing with uh with, with the, whatever. But, it, but you oh, are oh, friends yeah. with them, like, and you got, were on there early. I so was you friends with them when they had only twenty thousand subscribers, and I remember walking to their studio because I met them nice through studio. Danny Banks. Yeah, I was admit. like, the yeah, fuck, the setup is so nice. nice. They put so much yeah. money into it, and then I was thinking to myself, like, why aren't they bigger than what they are? And it was kind of like they just started right out the gate but they put all like a lot of like effort into everything right off the bat i was like oh, i thought immediately they were gonna blow up they're I super knew it. smart i knew it yeah. like i knew it like you are persistent on the internet and you post content on the regular you're gonna blow up like people are gonna see this shit plus the topic too like the red pill community is big on reddit yeah like they knew what they were doing when they're gravitating yeah. an audience yeah they'll have yeah. an audience no matter it was what. wild though because yeah. academics was talking it with schultz and he was saying that there are still a niche, and if they go global, they could get canceled, so they should stay a niche. But yeah. I didn't think it was a niche because they're so big, but it's still considered I like a niche like audience. they're going to be basically what Adam 22 is on the West Coast. They're going to be for the East Coast. Yeah. And they already are, honestly. They're already <clears throat> getting there. Like it, I've, It's a challenge, though, because the cancel culture, they're not comedians, they so everything they do, they it's like they're they're... They want to be funny and like joke, but like yeah. everyone takes them seriously because they're not stand up comedians. I get it. So they kind of get yeah. screwed a little bit. Yeah. Because they sell courses and all that shit. Yeah, I get it. I mean, I love them. They're my friends, but yeah. I, I understand where you're coming from. Sometimes you got to like, I, I, their niche is a little bit different than being a comedian.